Hello, friends. Yossi here. How are you? Today, we're going to talk about assignments for sale, Toronto condo assignments for sale. And we're going to focus on downtown and Young and Eglinton. So, today's topic, tr condo assignments for sale at Young and Eglinton and Toronto's downtown. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, Yossi Kaplan here. Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent, uh, mortgage agent with Search Realty Corp and Search Mortgage. Love this company, owned by my very good friend, Sterling. Fantastic company. Uh, top 500 companies for 2018. We reached uh, number 38, believe it or not. Uh, I don't think there's any other brokerage in that list. Condo assignments for sale. Okay, and I'll tell you after why I mentioned the company, why it's so important. What are assignments? I've made a couple of recent videos about these. Uh, here is one. And there are other videos when you search for Yossi Kaplan assignments on DuckDuckGo using the Firefox browser. Thank you very much, Google, taking a break from you. You can see all the information that comes at Yossi Kaplan assignments, Toronto condo assignments for sale. And today, Young and Eglinton, downtown with prices. Yes. Now, like I said before, I can't tell you exactly what it is because these um, units are not closed. And obviously, if they're closed, registered, then they're no longer assignments. And as you probably know, but I'll say it again in case you're first time watch, you are new to this game. Assignment is when you purchase a pre-construction condo from a developer and then you want to reassign your contract. You do not want to close on it because... Your life situation has changed. You got married. You had the kids. You don't need this unit. You bought somewhere else. You moved. Some people die. I've acted on behalf of people who died, got divorced, got rich, got poor. You know, anything that happened in life. So we're here to help everyone. Um, this is an open market. You know, there's buyers and there are sellers. For assignments, there's no real market. So I'm a market maker. I make the market by talking about assignments, publishing assignments, collecting information about assignments. So um, agents send me their assignments and then people that want to sell the assignments they list with me and then people that want to buy um, looking for deals uh, they buy the assignments 2019 is the year of assignments my friend they're gonna be so many already uh, fellow agents and investors and myself doing lots of deals look at assignments and we want to transact them why would you like to transact an assignment so uh, yesterday was Sunday, was uh, beginning to be a beautiful day. Today is phenomenal. It's over zero. I'm so happy. Everyone is. So I spent actually half my day, took like three or four hours to write this little article. I think there's still a couple of typos I got to you know iron out, but that's okay. I'm just going to go with Yossi's eight secret tips on buying and selling assignments. And in this article, go to yossikaplan.com. It's right there. I explain to you very clearly why would someone like to sell an assignment, why would someone like to buy an assignment, but Basically, if you sell an assignment, it's because you want to put the money back in your pocket, you want out of the deal for whatever reason, and if you buy and you're an investor, you see an opportunity, or you need a unit in a specific building which is sold out because everything sells out and will continue to sell out, I guarantee you that, because it's supply and demand, how the economy works, um, and that's what it is. And there's two recent videos, there's many more that I've done through the years, and they're okay because the principles are the same, but you'll notice I speak on prices much lower, of course. Uh, the first one is how to buy sell assignments. It's more of a basic one. And then watch why your assignment did not sell. And I explain the mistakes, the common errors people make, the buyers, the seller, and the lawyers um, killing the deal or not completing the deal. Okay. And then I give you eight tips on buying and selling assignments. Number one is, of course, hire Yossi. If you want to buy the assignment or sell the assignment, call Yossi first. And there's seven more. We'll do it another time. Today, we want to focus on actual what can you buy these days, how much you need to pay for them, where are the assignments, all that stuff, okay? So we're going to focus on downtown at 488 University Avenue condos. This building is about to be completed. I can actually, if I look out of my window, I can see it. Uh, it's a gorgeous building at the northwest corner of University and Dundas. So just north of Shangri-La on the same side, west side of University. Gotta love Toronto. I know every street here, every alleyway, you know, I, I, I take pride in this. I walk every single street. I cycle it, but I, I love to walk. I just love to walk the streets. Uh, got some units here. Again, I can't tell you exactly what I got here because you cannot advertise a specific unit. So I just tell you I have assignments at 488 University, and then you can call me or email me and ask me, what do you have, okay? 
please do not call or ask me, like, send me your list. I'm not going to do it, and I'm not going to take you seriously. I'm not probably not going to respond to you, or maybe I'll respond in one line. It's like, what do you need, okay? Because I'm, it's a lot of work to uh, take all the information for assignment, and there's always questions because how much they paid, what was the deposit structure, how much is all the occupancy, are there any rebates, when's the closing, da 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 on and on and on and on, and you literally can take hours to collect the information for one unit. So once I have it, it's great. I'm going to give you the very basic basic information, the basics. Just don't want to lose my uh, open page here because I'm going to talk about these numbers on the other computer in a second. But what you can do here, you can just go to the gallery, look at the flow, and say, oh, Yossi, I really like a Park Avenue three-bedroom and then at 488, can you find me one of these? Or, Yossi, i got a Montaigne. I don't know this name, doesn't say Michigan, it says at the bottom, Melrose, and so on and so forth. Grand Avenue. You'll see, I got a Grand Avenue for sale. It's a beautiful two bedroom, uh, full two bathroom. I want to, can you sell it for me? Of course I can. Okay? And when you come to me to sell your assignment, I'll tell you the three things that you want to know, which are how much can I get for it, how long it's going to take, and how much it's going to cost me. Now, obviously, if you contacted me a few months ago to sell your assignment, you get much higher price and buyers will pay more. And now the market is equalizing. There's an equilibrium where we look at stuff that came up too fast and that's going to calm down a bit. But you know the condos are going to come up because the condos are still more affordable than the houses. And like you know, I really love the townhomes because townhomes are as large as homes, but they're new, they're easy to maintain. You know, there's not a lot of work to do. You don't need to do the snow shoveling yourself because the company will do it for you. The fees are really small, They're usually one or two hundred dollars a month for the and that really just covers you know the common areas and that's it. There's no concierge in a townhome, so they're cheap to maintain. Okay. Um, one interesting development that I recently looked at and decided to post is the Minto Long Branch townhome. Um, now this is not downtown or young and egg, but I did post it because it's a beautiful, beautiful development. Minto is known for many years. Excuse me, as, as a developer of fine quality units. The Minto just there, I can see it. They got the Minto uh, King West, which is coming, and there'll be a lot of assignments there. That is a huge development. It's probably five or 600 units. You're going to have a lot of assignments in there. So if you're looking to buy or sell a Minto King West, let me know right away. This is the Minto Long Branch. This company is for real. I've met the CEO years ago at uh, St. Thomas when one of those buildings were launched. These guys are great. I really like what they do. They focus on quality. So I would recommend looking at properties from Minto. Okay, downtown. So uh, let's just keep going here. I'm going to skip uh, Brantford. Got some stuff in Brantford, some beautiful townhomes. 495 and up with 35,000 deposits. Occupancy from June 2019. And now we're going to move here to the site. York V Luxury Real Estate, you're going to start looking at some real units. So 609 Avenue Road, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous development. It's coming online probably in September, September to December of this year, 2019. Um, you, if you can find anything right now in Toronto, and let's talk about prices in a $1,000 a foot range, I think that's a fair price, and you're doing really, really well. Why I say that? Because... All the new developments that I'm receiving now are in the $1,200 to $1,500 a foot. And you, you may ask, well, you'll see, but, you know, the market's equalizing, going down, doing its thing. You know, why wouldn't I see lower price with the assignment? Well, the reason is very simple is because the developers cannot afford to sell anything for less because their costs are already at $800 to $1,000 a foot. Okay? How many developers I speak with, they say, you know, I did this $5 million development, I barely made any money, like I barely eat off that. So they have to be very careful, okay? But when you find a nice townhome or a beautiful property and you're able to buy it on assignment, here is one at 609. So if you go on my Twitter, you can get more accurate numbers. I'm not going to mention on the audio, but you can see, if you go to my Twitter, you can see it. And there's some initial numbers. If you want more, obviously, I'm not going to post everything, just, just a taste and then just Call or email, I talk to you in more detail, okay? So the Twitter, yossikaplan.com, uh, twitter.com is where you'll find all the additions. Um, here's a good example. So this is, uh, I talked about this, this is uh, Big King West across the street at 489 King. On February 11th, we're doing the event for the Chinese New Year. 
Happy Year of the Pig, everyone. Um, pig's a smart animal. You know, I don't need it. I don't need any of the four-legged uh, animals, regardless what they are. I love them. And on February 15th, they're going to raise the price at, at uh, Big King West. And they're going to raise it from 1,500 a foot to probably about 17 or 1,800 a foot, between 10 and 30 percent, depending on the unit. Now, why is this crazy? No, it is not. This building is 85 percent sold. It's a phenomenal building. The quality is beautiful. There's nothing else like it, and it's pulling all the neighborhood, the entire King West, with it together. Okay. So here, for example, I post at 508 Wellington. This unit is a one bedroom on at 500,000, 499999999999. Okay, why is this important? Why are these together? Because these are, you know, 200 meters away from each other. So here's a unit for a $1,000 a foot, and here are units for 15 to $1,800 a foot. So 50 to 80% more in the same block, literally on the same block of land. Yes, they're built differently. Yes, they're different. Yes, you know, this is a small little boutique building and it's like a giant four mountain structure. But you know, if you're a savvy investor, you go, I have an opportunity here for one opportunity is one kind of buyer and renter and purchaser and investor and flipper. And here I have another opportunity. But this is a good baseline that shows you that these days, a thousand dollar a foot downtown and Young and Eglinton is the going rate. So, for example, here I'm looking at um, 150 Red Path, 155 Red Path, Art Shop, all these buildings at, at uh, Young and Eglinton. You can find units now at a thousand buck a foot, you know, g give or take a little bit. But somebody uh, this week can send me a beautiful unit on a high floor, excellent, uh, excellent design at 150 Red Path, and it was 4.99, and it was about. Just over 500 square feet, okay, on a high floor. That is very, very good. Again, I'm not going to tell you exactly, but if you call me or email me, I will send you the email with the information. What floor, what is the unit, the floor plan, the exposure, everything. I will, I will send you because I'm about all about full disclosure. Uh, somebody called me today, a friend of mine that I haven't talked in a couple of years, you know, moved out of town and kids, all that stuff, and said, you know, I've been following your work. And I really love it because you put so much information out. And I said, yes, buddy, you know, I really take a lot of pride in doing this and educating the masses because I believe that the more transparent you are and the more, uh, the more you disclose, the better it is for everyone. Uh, you saw in the paper they said maybe we should let the agent tell what everyone wants to bid on. That's part of being uh, disclosed. And there's obviously, there's all kinds of bid. There's the, the jet, Dutch auction and that, ta 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 ta, ta. So wh whatever system we're going to go up, it, it's fine with me. I like to release information to you because I think that today's investors are very sophisticated and they know what's going on. Okay, here's a good example. Uh, stockyard districts, uh, they have just a handful of units left that more or less sold all the smaller units, of course, right away at you know less than a thousand a foot and they've done really well and they got a two-year rental guarantee and two-year property management now let's say one of these buyers picked up a really good unit and you know for some reason they can't close on it whatever it is why don't you come and take it over even if you have to pay a little bit more for it you know somebody put it it's like somebody put the deposit for you and now they're gonna pass it on to you you know, this was not going to be ready in probably, say, two and a half years, say, 24 to 30 months. But if you can find a good unit here and a good price, in 24 to 30 months, this is probably going to be a lot more expensive. So maybe it's sold out. Maybe you weren't ready. Maybe you weren't ready emotionally, mentally, physically, technically, out of the country, didn't have the money. It doesn't matter, you know. <clears throat> Even if you have to pay a little bit more for the assignment, because that's what the assignments are, you know, one person bought the unit and then transfer it to another to close yes they're gonna pay them a little bit for it but hey they put the money up front they took the risk and now we share the risk so the assignee and the assignor essentially share the risk and they both become investors in the development so i think it's a fair system and in my opinion there's anywhere from one to five percent of units that change hands through assignments that's it and another thing to understand is not all the units that are put for assignments actually sell. In my opinion, less than half. Less than half. And why is that? The reason number one why your assignment didn't sell, like my video said, is because you priced it too high. 
Division number two, you didn't use Yossi. Okay, there's a lot of agents out there, but you need to have the ability to sell the assignment. You have to have the followers. You have to have the followers, not but the number, but you also have to have the network and the reputation. So the follower means that, you know, you have enough followers on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. I'm not too big on Instagram because I think the audience for it is younger. Um, but I like Twitter and, of course, I love YouTube. That's where we are because YouTube is where we are. So thank you very much. 99 subscribers. You know, a couple months ago when I decided I'm going to start, like, doing the videos on and on again and kind of try to produce, like, a couple videos a week, I was at, like, 40-something. And... The moment I start putting more video, of course, you get a whole bunch of deletions. People unsubscribe, but then it's catching on because, because people tell me and people email me and say, love your content, keep making it. So thank you very much, everyone, for being so supportive. I really appreciate it. Uh, comments down are good. Comments up are good. Please like, subscribe, and share because the more you do it, the more people can see it. Because YouTube, it's a popularity contest like any other social media. But to me, YouTube is the most efficient and effective medium because I can really explain to you a lot in 20 or 30 minutes okay so if you go to my youtube and you click on video you get the entire list of video and then you can sort them by popularity by the first by the last whatever so here this is uh sort by i think this is by newest at the moment so this is two days ago four days ago and so on and that's how it works and then i throw this video on i also put them on facebook sometimes but i don't really care for facebook anymore you know it's there's no good but this is still all right <laughs> Okay, and the other tool that I want you to use is the search engine. Now, I love DuckDuckGo. I don't work for them. I don't get anything from them. I don't know these people, but I think I like it because it provides you privacy together with the Firefox browser and, and the VPN. You get a, bit, a little bit of privacy because these days, Rogers and Bell and Telus and all these, by law in Ontario, I don't know if Canada, but in Ontario for sure, they can track who you called, what you called, who you texted, when you texted, What's your location? What was your location? All these things. And, uh, you know, if, if, if we give this information voluntarily, people say, well, I got nothing to lose. I'm not doing anything wrong. But then they track everything. And you even know where you're going to go, where you're going to eat. And then later they can start controlling us. I don't like that. There needs to be, you know, an open, free market so we can trade because we are traders. Okay. I'm a market maker. That's what I am. I create a market. You want to buy and you want to sell and you come to my store, my virtual store, which is my website and my channels online. And we make the connection here. Sometimes on the phone, in person, but mostly it's online. So here's where you'll find all this stuff, how to buy and sell assignment, all these things. Okay, let's go to some assignments for sale. So here's 609 Avenue, okay. There are a couple of penthouses left at a very, very high price, like $1,600 a foot. But you can get nice units for $1,000 a foot. And yes, I have some that I can show you. But once again, I'm just going to show you a whole bunch of floor plans. I can't tell you exactly which one not to um, um, break the contract, break the promise with the developer. But most important, you know that you look at the unit, you go, okay, he's got something there or he can get something there or I can sell something there because Yossi saw value in it, okay? Why I like 609 is because the floor plans are very, very good. The nice big boxes, the little wider, you know, it's right by Upper Canada College. The balconies are massive. You ride on Avenue Road. You can literally walk down to Yorkville. Uh, this is sweet. I would live here. <laughs> Look at this. This is very, very nice, okay? So that's cool. So, you know, around $1,000 a foot of 609, very, very good deal. If you can find it for less, even better. Okay. Uh, moving on, I'm going to look here at my other computer, 150 Red Path. So 150 Red Path is a beautiful building. Uh, let's see if I can do a search on here. Okay, I'll just put the Red Path because there's also 155 Red Path, which is the other building. So they're like twin buildings. They saw the first one is phase one, and then the second is phase two. So here, new assignment, b 62 Colbo, 150 Red Path, 2131, Young Tree, Archer. Perfect. So let's focus on Young and Anglican assignments, okay? 150 and 155 Red Path, which you see here, are the two free buildings that they're doing at Young and Eglinton on the street called Red Path, which is just east of Young, north of Eglinton. And the reason those are important because the new train, the LRT, I believe it's called, is going to run right there. 
And this is going to have an outdoor pool. You know, it's a free building. It's like Think Thompson, Fashion House, all these. So you're going to have an outdoor pool. You're going to have nice amenities. The building's going to be really sexy. Design's going to be good because it's free. They, they uh, brand themselves as design-based development, which I like. You know, that's, that's their thing. This is an old picture I took uh, when we were at the, this is like 6 in the morning or 5 in the morning when we come in there, it was so cold. And we had a rental program, model walkthrough. So if you missed the information, you can actually see what it was like, okay, and, and, then, and then go from there. Okay, so 150 Red Path, you can get a high floor unit there. 500 square foot for about half a million dollars, give or take. And I still have a couple units left. 150 Red Path is going to occupy soon, starting in the beginning of, uh, it's actually now, so starting next week, actually. Uh, it's going to start to occupy. You know, obviously, you know, when the building occupies, sadly in Ontario, except for one or two developers like Tridel will just give you mint building. I love Tridel. They do amazing, amazing job. And you'll notice I will never bash a developer. I will never bash a colleague or anyone. I'd rather focus on the good work. Those who do great work. I think it's a lot better. You know, there's so much negativity going on these days. Just focus on the good stuff. So Bisha is on the market now. You can just look up on Yossi that, you know, this was from a, a while ago. Col Colburn closed. Uh, Art Shop, you know, I didn't put a number here just to show you that these things are available. Red Path, these are a bit old, so I think some of these are sold. But if you call me, I have some new ones and I can show you what's available. So to me, that's a very, very good option. Even better option will be the e-condo. Why is it better? Because it connect, it connects to the subway. And it, very, very few buildings actually connect to the subway. Um, E-Condo, Young and Eglinton, assignment for sale, uh, 8 Eglinton Avenue East. And they have the other address. Remind me what it was. I forget, but it's not an Eglinton Avenue. It's the second building. Uh, but this is the 8 right here um, where the little TD used to be. So these are great. I really like this. This is Basis. It's looking amazing these days. Uh, Econo, the first one, is, is also just about ready. It's like 150 And if you can find something I can in about a $1,000 foot, you're doing really, really well, in my opinion, because I don't really see Toronto coming below that price. There's just no point, because don't forget, those who invested in this building three years ago, four years ago, they got to see return on their money. And because they bought them, they paid them prices, they can just close on the unit, put on the market, then either sell it when they get the keys after they closed, or just rent it for a year, and then sell it, and then they're going to make the margin, okay? That's a reminder that i got to go soon. Okay. Uh, E2 condos, which is the second building, the one on the right you see, he will be ready slightly later uh, in a year or next year. And I have some nice units there, one and two bedrooms, okay? The other building to look at is, of course, the art shop, which is also, like I said, a free, and they spell shop the old English way, shoppe. So the art shoppe, <laughs> uh, 2131 Young, fantastic building. This is a giant, giant building. If you remember the art shop, you walk in there, it's like, it's like the old Toronto that I remember, it's gone now. But you used to go, and it was like an old-style furniture store. They had everything, but it's a free building, so you get you get the pool, you get the outside pool. It's very sexy. It's beautifully designed, and it's a massive development. It's a good quality. I like it, okay? So these are some uh, pictures from the model suite, I think, some renders, nice inner courtyard, very, very nice. This is lovely. This reminds you of the Thompson because it is a developer from them, Thompson. So they have a continuity. You know, Peter Fried is a great guy and I've known him for many years. And the entire team is excellent and they're doing really good work. Okay. Econ that you see here is going to have, I don't know if you can see my mouse actually or not, if it captures or not, but it's right down here with the red. And this is real on the 31st or 33rd floor. They have this thing jotting out, sticking out red thing where the pool is. So you got a pool that you can swim literally and see the whole city, or you can go in the amenities and just hang out there and see the whole city. Very, very nice. Uh, these are other Young and Eglinton developments like the Madison, which is not close, so I can get you resale there. 60 Berry, close, resale, and so on and so forth. Okay, so 
your main target for acquisition these days at Young in England it will be 150, 155. So actually, a, a, a backtrack. Let's start with right the corner. It's e condo, okay? That'll be my number one choice because if you can get a thousand dollar a foot connected to the subway, that's the highest perceived value. So first of all, go there. Now a lot of people are kind of not getting it, and then they only get it when the building is finished and they can walk into the building themselves. Okay, that happens too, um, but then you're gonna have to pay more because the owner already paid for closing costs, and now they want to realize the investment. You know, they took the mortgage, now they're like, it's running by itself, the rent's paying itself, I'm making a couple hundred bucks a month, I may as well just sit on it and sell it later. So these days, my friends, you have an opportunity to grab a unit because it's not going to happen once it's closing. Once the owner got the mortgage, they're in no rush. They got a five, one or three or five or ten year mortgage. Who cares? Okay. I know the mortgage rules. I passed the exam. I'm in good standings. I pay my dues. That's how it works. Okay, so e condo first. Then the free buildings, a young and Eglinton. Again, now we're talking about Toronto condo assignments for sale at Young and Eglinton. Okay, I'm saying it very clearly so Google hears it because Google in the background transcribes everything it hears, probably what it hears on the microphone here, but for sure it transcribes every video and it looks at the words that I say and match it to the title and everything I write to make sure it's the same thing. Okay, it is. We're talking about Toronto condo assignment for sale at Young and Eglinton. So e-condo, 150 red path, 155 red path, art shop, these will be my main targets, okay? And I want to see a thousand bucks a foot, as close as I can to the subway, as high as I can, the best floor I can. Uh, maybe I got some, maybe the person who bought before me got some upgrades, whatever, but this is what you want to go after, okay? I think you cannot go wrong with it. Don't forget Toronto. Uh, did you see that thing with the circles? Toronto is like second now uh, fastest uh, growing global city, Toronto and seven or eight other cities. Uh, it's good, that's what we hear, that's what we all watch in these videos. When we go downtown, I think 488 University, it's a very, very good uh, option because it is connected to the subway just like e condo. So wake up people, this is good, okay? This is gonna be a little bit more than a thousand, this is gonna be 11 to 12, but in a month or two, 481 University Ave will come just on the other side of the street, and that will come at much higher prices. And then, guess what? All the prices of the assignments at 488 University will come up. Because if across the street they're selling, I can bring mine up. I can still keep it just below the competition to make sure I'm selling, but I'm still doing better. That's why you see prices of assignments going up as it becomes closer and closer to the date of occupancy and once it's occupied you can walk into the unit and see how good it is then you'll see the units which are not good floor plan will come down or sit on the market and the good floor plan will come up simple all right uh what else downtown uh king blue king blue is a very good option i can't remember if i have something here on this site so many sites you know i i went with a few sites so like Post whenever I can in each instead of just doing one, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, tax, that's an old one. Maybe I'll make a, a, a new, I think I have to make a new King Blue, which is totally fine. Uh, 357 will have assignments too, and King Blue, it was tax and then we sold as King Blue. This has some really great assignments, very, very good because you ride across from Bisha basically, a King and Blue Jay. You gotta know your Toronto geography, my friend. Okay, so. That's the idea. I also got some stuff at Nobu. Nobu is phenomenal. Nobu. Nobu is going to be, I think, on the same price level as University, as Shangri-La, and all the lifestyle buildings. That's why they all come together. Okay? So top five, like Big King West. So if you can grab some in Nobu right now, I think you'll do yourself a favor and do that. That thing sold out very quickly. Could barely get any units there. Uh, and after that, you're going to get Kingly, um, which is on Adelaide, and so on and so forth. Okay? So that's it for now. I have an appointment. i got to run. But I think you get the picture. We'll talk more. If you need to sell your assignment at Young and Eglinton, downtown, or anywhere else, 
call me if you looking to buy or do a good deal if you have a bit of cash you want to invest it in something that is ready to go assignment is the place for you there's a good assignment market you can find it remember stuff on the classifieds usually a lot of the classifieds are fake news okay there's no unit somebody will just come and put and then you call it go, oh i just sold this one but i have another sometimes it's true it happens to me too i put some on classifieds and it you know it deletes itself it takes 45 or 60 days but that time you probably sold it and you totally forgot about it or just went down the list but a lot of classifieds are fake news okay uh the last but not least Branford, very very good townhomes 495 35,000 down and 85 morel the loft in a 300 range fantastic all right my friends this is yossi this is good for today take care yossi out